there have been um, a number of studies looking specifically at that, and really by using the correlation of the t size of the tumor. Um, so the vast majority of the increase is in smaller papillary thyroid carcinomas. So um, the debate is whether this is us finding it with improved ultrasound technology. We're more aware of the disease, so we're looking at it more. Other people are more aware of the disease because it's becoming more common, so they're feeling their own next doctors are, are looking into it more often. Um, there has been some data um, that has shown that the increase has also been seen in larger tumors. So that, that sort of, we're finding it sooner uh, argument wouldn't hold true, but the vast majority of them are small tumors. Um, so less than one centimeter, so we even call them microcarcinomas when they're less than a centimeter that we're finding. Um, and so that's where the challenge is for thyroidologists and endocrine surgeons and primary care physicians is saying, which of these little tumors do we need to be worried about and which don't we? You know, which ones can we leave alone? Which can, and you see, you know, the ATA is undergoing a major guideline revision and um, the, it, it will continue to be a source of debate whether or not to use molecular um, testing in order to risk stratify patients, whether to use ultrasound characteristics, the size of the tumor, et cetera. 